Hi guys, it's Kiki Love and Kiki Loves You. So my glasses and my lashes are not working together today. So uh, might be a lot of pushing stuff around. So my glasses are kind of sitting in a weird spot for me right now, just cause everything is clashing. Anyway, so um, if you can tell my room's dirty because well, I'm sitting here and this is just my pillow. <laughs> Um, I, if you know me, you know I have tons of pillows, and I mean tons in my little thingy over there, but that's just the one I had out right now. So I love to watch Steve Harvey. I love to watch the Hey Steve segments, especially ones on YouTube. And so I want to kind of talk about this one a little bit, but not a whole lot. I might start this whole thing where I'm like, hey Steve, excuse me, what was that? Like, there's a lot of times I'll watch it, and I'll be like, you know what? I got two cents to put in on that one. I got I got, I got a little chain, a little some shum to throw in on that one in particular. For this one, I wanted to talk about this woman that was talking about being engaged um, and her to-be husband having teenage daughters. And the advice that Steve gave her was, you should get a woman to give you advice on how to do this. Not necessarily me because I've just worked with boys. Like, cause he's like, you know, you take, you need a man to teach you how to be a man. You need a woman to teach you how to be a woman. So for me in this situation and having been like a stepchild, I wanted to kind of chime in and kind of give a little input, a little insight. I feel like, and this probably goes for, this can go for just about any parent. And I feel like really parents that are, hold on, let me fix my camera. I feel like this can go for anybody that's a parent. This can go for tons of people. I really feel like it's something that parents need to consider when they're getting married or when they're engaged to get married. I think it's important for your to-be spouse to have a relationship with your children, for your children to know them, even if they don't like them per se, Like, but to have that relationship. Because a lot of times I feel like your children can tell when things aren't gonna work out. Or your children can see the way that person is treating you, your children can see the way they treat them. And that's something that you need to consider before you get married to a person, instead of being like, hey, so I like him, so I'm gonna get married and that's it. Like that's not how it should be because you're choosing to be with that person, you're choosing to be married, but your child did not choose to be here. Like you had sex, you had a child, so now you need to be considerate of your child in that situation. A lot of times, I feel like people get married, they don't consider their children, they don't consider how they feel, they don't consider the relationship that that person that they're dating has with their child. Like, those are important things because this person is going to shape the way they view life. Like, ultimately, y'all are gonna be the picture of marriage for them like they're gonna see it model out through you all so you need to be mindful of what you're showing your child and how it should be done there are a lot of people that are like you're under you know you're in my house you're under my roof you will buy by my rules it is what it is that's fine but a lot of those people's children will be homeless before they go back home there are a lot of people who have parents who are alive just um grandparents like guardians that are alive but they were terrible to them while they were living under their roof. And they're just like, I will never go back. Like I will live out in the streets. I will be homeless. They had terrible experiences, terrible relationships with their parents and they don't want to go back. And they'd rather be homeless. And their parents are like, either they find out and they're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you didn't come home and tell me. And they're like, no, like why would I tell you? Or they feel the shame after their child has moved up in life and their child is no longer homeless or and, you know abandoned or, or things like that. Like then they feel the shame of well, I didn't do that for, you know, oh, I wasn't there for my child, my child was homeless. Like, then you feel that shame later down the road. When it comes to having stepchildren, treat them like people, that's it. That at the bare minimum, just treat them like people. I feel like adults, parents, get so far removed from the fact that they used to be children that at one point in time, you were a child, at one point in time, you were a teenager, you forget what it felt like. And instead of seeking to understand your child, you're just like, oh, well, I'm just doing this, so you're just gonna do what I tell you to do. And that's fine for some children, but just you don't treat every person the same. You're not friends with everybody because everybody doesn't think like you do. They don't operate the way you do. And the same goes for children. I feel like a lot of times people don't treat children as if they are people because they feel like, oh, you, you just do what I tell you to do and x y and z but no you can train your train up a child in the way they should go and they still go astray like you can tell your child this is what you're supposed to do in life this is how things are supposed to go and 
none of it sticks and they go off and they do exactly the opposite of what you told them to do because they're still people. We understand that there are different ways that people learn, that children learn. We understand that there are geniuses. We understand that, you know, it takes longer for others. But we don't seem to understand that when it comes to parenting. And I'm not, I'm, mind you, I'm not a parent, I'm just a child. <laughs> you understand that when it comes to teaching children like an education, but you don't understand that when it comes to parenting, unless your child has been diagnosed with OCD or ADHD or something like that, or autism, like you don't understand, or you don't, I feel like parents don't understand or seek to understand that about them, their children until somebody tells them that. And even like in those, in the situations where children have proven to be autistic or have ADHD in some situations beforehand their parents just try to treat them like every other child instead of actually knowing and learning their child as a person they just treat them like that and they expect them to do x y and z and it's like oh well you're not doing what x y and z is doing like you're a problem and then it takes them actually going to the doctor or a teacher saying hey you might want to get your child checked out for x y and z because i feel like a part of a teacher understands that these are little these are little people like it's they're little people like they have different personalities and they're growing in different ways so no they don't all think the same way no they don't all agree no they can't all be taught the same way they can't be disciplined the same way like all these things know that they are people too treat them like people yes give them guidance yes you need to tell them no sometimes yes you need to do you need to lay down the law sometimes but you should seek to understand them and i feel like a lot of times the disconnect between um step parents and step children is that they don't feel like they understand them or they're trying to understand them or that they care to understand them if that child can feel the love from you i feel like they're like you know what maybe they're not doing it the way I would per se, but they're trying, but I see that they care about me, but I see that they, they want the best for me at the end of the day. So that's just a little bit, a little bit of a two cents um, on that. And as, as I said before, this is from the perspective of being a stepchild, not necessarily having stepchildren. Um, it's just some stuff that I wish would have been considered mm -hmm, um, in my situation. I might talk more about it later, but that's just something that kind of, throw out there for anybody who might be a step parent and just wonder how do step children feel so yeah um yeah guys so that's it for this video and i'll see y'all in my next one another kiki loves you i'm out